SK. Immortals plunge to the B-bomb site here. Coldzera. A phenomenal talent. Is he going to be up to the task as they line up for him and he goes to the double spray? The Immortals are not getting the avenging frag either. This has quickly turned into SK Gaming's round. The bomb also not under control. KNG has been dinked down to 14 and gets finished off. And Coldzera's on a tear. He could be on for the ace. He's going to run out of bullets. Whips to his USP. He lands a headshot. Coldzera coming up clutch. Setting up for there's three squeaky door. Oh, Fur lines him up though. Oh, could have been a massacre. Could still very well be a massacre. And Fur with three. Combination with a very fast maneuver up lane. So being very aggressive, which is a trademark for them. Coldzera almost was thinking twice about finishing off what he starts, but comes back in with three. Turret-esque, no one from our sports checking in, and they are going to be obliterated. Chris J has been spotted, dwindled down to 40. He's going to land the frag onto Fur as he tack up. Oh, he could see what he was going for, and he did land a dink, I think, onto Chris J, knocking him exceptionally low. Now Fur has the control of the bomb. There's 16 seconds left. This is actually in the realms of possibility. The Molotov is going to wreck him, though. He has to move out. But no one's pushing behind this. It's going to be two separate 1v1s. And Fur is potentially on track to pick this one up. Unfortunately, he switches across to an AK with only one bullet. Can he land it? Not quite. Chris J is so close to tying the out. And Fur's got it done. Gaming and their T side has been on point. Fallen. That's the first time you've really seen him take that early of a pick at middle. He's going to... Lowell using all 30 bullets to try and stave off the push. But Chris J will go down regardless. The flames have fallen. Bomb planted. And look who it is on SK. Cold there and Fallen. Two players that are tailor made for these situations. Fallen going to go for the peaks. Lands the first one, brings it back into equality. They can't afford to peak him one by one because he will punish. And Fallen comes in for more. And he's very close to just outright winning the round. Cold there goes for the peak. Round Dennis is spamming up through the bench, leaving Cold there in a one on four. There's the first. Looking for a second, he connects it. Oh, and he gets a third as well. Surely he's not going to pull this one off. Oh, Coldzera, the man, the myth, the beast. So far, Dennis trying to use the flashbangs to carve out a clutch, but it won't be happening just yet. All of SK are low. They do have the man advantage, and Oscar has the shot on the cross. Wasn't far off. Ops using a flash of his own to force out his position. Comes out second best, though. Lowell has his number. Fur and Fallen. Oscar destroys Fallen. Didn't even have a chance to react. But Fur's on the long haul around on Connector. Not making any noise at all. They're going to line up from the first kill. Is forthcoming. There's a smoke on there. The Molly's not going to work, sir. You have to push the site right now. And Lowell's not able to get... Taco with a spray. Able to get one. Only loses 15 health as well. Really exactly what they're looking for. Taco with a second as Oscar goes out peeking, but... There's no real cohesion here. Lowell's too far behind to really do anything with his Tech-9 at range. He's not going to be able to get the upper hand. On to Taco. And Rops one and four to save mouse boss to keep the dream alive here at dreamhack summer not gonna happen taco domes in maybe make the play from back no again taco oh i thought he got away with it again no it wasn't it was fur actually with the off angle slightly deeper towards the old train but he's very up close no one's really called this he was the one who kind of got into this game early he was only got the first kill there maybe a miscommunication but still see you do have the bomb down and again the retake it is split throughout the map. It's all, again, through the same sort of avenue of approach. And Fur getting pressure on the bomb side, but he doesn't come up with the goods in the end. It's Ricky now with it all to do in his hands. He does have the Molly, and there is no smoke on SK Gaming. Molly goes in. That's time bought, and he knows it. He's going to switch up the angle, though. A little bit unpredictable, and I like it. Oh. He does get flashed. The old diffuser timing right now as we speak. Oh, a second difference. You've got to feel that was close, but no. Where smoking off the base vision and rotating back to a more defensive one and just holding on the other side for that is perfect. Valve once again going for the triple, getting it done. And CLT just wrecked completely. One flash maybe goes in. Yeah, one flash and goes in. Bait even into it to offset the aim. Beautiful wow. work from Tarko. Dangle he can go to. Mr. Molly is not going to help things out here. Actually, he's going to put him under pressure and Fawn's allowed through. A mistake made. 
And, well, look at that. Making up for it is Kusta. He does not want to allow this one to get away from him, nor to be the person to be blamed for this issue. And Kusta, just on the other side, there is Fallen. Smoke goes in again. He knows that Fallen's been let loose. No, the flash is perfect. Fallen is an animal. And he wants more as well. Back to the orb we go. But it is a 3v2. And Ethan and Cutler, backwards as they may be, will have to try and get this one going the right way for CLG. Yeah, they have to go for this. Or at least try and get the picks here. Bomb being picked up at uh, that two box. Surely going to be planted in a few seconds now. And as you said, Fallen has been released from his cage. He's just wrecking people right now. Three kills so far. Taco holding out perfectly. Time is so lucky for me. And now for one split that is very common on Cobblestone where one player goes aggressive towards long and the rest is back towards B. And this is why Fallen coming up huge with two frags to start us off. Incredible play from Fallen. That's going to cut down this hit at the knees. The bomb's in the worst place possible. And Taco is going to make the most of this. Everyone else from CRG has to just walk into this if they want to get that bomb back and a shot at this round. Phelps there spotting it out as well. It does get caught by FNS in the end. But still, 2v3 in this situation, it's not going to go nicely. And Ricky, you do have a deagle. Yes. Fallen, I guess, is like the final raid boss, right? You're just you're playing these one angles where you can't get faced for too many. And as soon as you have to play out into it, you know you're going to get double faced. No, the bomb's broken through by B. And here we go. It's going to be Kusta. Surely let's get the bomb down. Cutlass, one out. That's big. And now it's all about timing. Oh, God, though. Kusta's going down low. He's only 40 HP. He needs to stay alive here at this point. Wait for support. He's taking fights. He does want Cold Zero to have it. Oh, no. Cold Zero is taking him down. But look at this HP. Is it enough time out of everyone? Can Cutler do this? Or is Cold Zero doing that godly work? We know he can again. The beast. Can he make it happen? Time's ticking down. The fake Cold Zero is working in towards it. He's not looked the right way, but he adjusts better. Four 12 bullets. HP still, four bullets in timing. It's only a couple of seconds left. Cutler's messed this up. Oh God, Cold Zero's an animal. That's the play you dream of as well. It doesn't matter in the end, but that big player, SK Gaming now picking up the pace. They're going for the quick hit, and that is causing problems. Ethan and FNS to be put to the test here, but they go back in towards the Evox room. It allows Phelps now to break out as well. This is down to a 2v2. They both got guns on SK. Very tough place to play out of as well. Here. Both players towards drop for CLG. Phelps retaining the higher angle, not flashed. He gives it away on one, but he gets the frag towards Kusa. It's now all done. Phelps there. Gonna... Oh, Walkie's gonna go look for some kills, and there's one. And he's not quite able to survive as JBW goes for the repick. And that's up to Taco's UMP. How many, if any, can he get from this point forward? There's another one. He's not able to get to the sanctuary and bit. In actual fact, he is somehow, someway. With three seconds left, Taco may have done enough. Fnatic have timed themselves out. The squad to come into effect, and Taco is going to take down one. They're not expecting Coldzera to be there as well. And he's going to put that UMP to use with two kills. He's able to survive as well. JW, he's not able to capitalize on this. Excellent work going for the double. They never expected a second player to be there. And although the Molotov may very well burn Phelps to a crisp, he's managed to jump on the other side. JW's caught this, but not quite on point. CZ in hand, and down he goes to Cold Zera. <laughs> to make a miracle occur. And he may be able to get the bomb planted. Not too bad, all things considered. Oh, and he lands the fast shot onto JW as well. That opens up the chance now. It's still fleeting. It's still just a glimmer of hope. A light at the end of the tunnel. Playing some very passive. Waiting, gambling that both players come from the same side. And he is correct in that assumption. He's going to get a second. Surely not! Fallen! Oh my god, what a play! Out of nothing, he picks up a one. Good counter flashes. He's keeping the terrorists at bay for a little while longer. Flush is not able to tee off, and JW's been smoked out of position. This is a good take so far for SK. But the cavalry is about to arrive. Olof would like to rinse and repeat from a few rounds prior with the AWP. But this is, of course, much more tenuous, much different circumstances. A lot of shots are missing and Fallen will not be one of them. Crims will land a shot through the smoke, but Fallen comes through with more. He is on form right now. I have a very capable Cold Zero that can pick that up and utilize it, but also vital information, Taco. Decapitating Crims opens up some options on the B side. Still two players here, though. Make that just the one. Taco is going to take down everybody. All by himself. Lone Wolf style. And in doing so, now the bomb can start to transition across to the site. 
It wasn't tactics that got them this round. If indeed they do convert from here, it was all off taco. And 7-1 memes to Brazilians. Like, that's really all it is, right? Like, for some reason, that fate must still always be sealed. As again, though, Taco absolutely the one who put the team on his back in that round. Even after Dennis was able to get an aggressive peek again, Taco responds so well coming out. Monster on that aggressive lurk. JW, though, he's still messing around with this with the AWP. Making you wonder just a bit, but Taco ends with the quad kill. Solid on this map, but how they leave, leave themselves, or left themselves, I should say, enough room to make it work. Cold Zera, long range with his USP. But B has been pretty much taking Cold Zera. He's going to get a second one, actually, to make this round a bit more interesting. And off just simply runs out of bullets. Crimson's there to help him out, though. Now on flush up. Three players ahead of him, swarming the bomb. How is he not dead just yet? This player is running ahead of him. Runs out of bullets, runs out of hell. Focus here on middle four players. In fact, the 1-4 split. Cole with the Deagle, though. He's dangerous. He's peeking this angle right now. He will find the one dig. He finds the bomb dropped on the floor, and he continues to deliver. There's a... Just in the perfect time. Phelps is going to take some damage, but he wants to land headshots, and he's got one already. Let's spin around. He's actually going to get two from that position. That is absolutely crazy. Fnatic have lost two players that definitely should have got an avenging frag, and Phelps isn't done just yet. Doesn't even have to go peeking for this. If he just stays in window, that in amongst itself is going to be worth so much for the tease. Olof trying to connect some headshots, trying to claw Fnatic back into this round, but he's actually going to concede one of his own. Two health now. Flusher takes out Phelps. But there comes Fur with two of his own, picking up the slack from Phelps. And Olof Meister, not long, very much the same. He's just hiding, and he wasn't far off that shot in midair. It looked like his cross there landed. But instead, it's Crims. And this is desperate times for Fnatic. They need Crims to come out clutch. If not, they're going to have low economy. They're going to be six rounds behind. And SK will be on the brink of winning this grand finals. He's got an aid. He may very well be able to pick up some more utility on the approach, but his position is now compromised. He knows where the last two players are, but that's really only half the struggle. And again, SK are playing this 1-2 perfection. They are wasting valuable time. Crims simply can't get it done. It must be so frustrating, not just for him, but for Fnatic. But it's going to get the drop onto Jade. In fact, it's Dennis. JW's moved down a position, and he's going to get the shank. Trained on his location. And now we have it.